Hi guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the game Royal Kismet. This game came out in 1964, and it is for any amount of players. Now, Kismet is a game that plays a lot like Yahtzee, where you're gonna be rolling dice and you're gonna be trying to set aside five dice to make these different scoring combinations on your score pad. Royal Kismet does that, but it turns it up about three or four levels. And one of the big ways is that you have three different ways that you can score on most of the uh, choices that you have. So let's take a look at it. So in the Royal Kismet game, you're gonna be receiving a dice cup and then you're gonna be receiving eight dice that you're gonna be rolling on your turn. I'll go ahead and show you what they are. These dice are numbered uh, six through ace, which is the highest, which is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, ace. And there's also going to be three different suits. You've got the heart suit here, you've got the spade suit here, and then you have the wild suit over here in the green. You're also going to have a joker that you're going to be able to use in this game. Now, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be rolling eight of these dice like so, and you're going to be setting aside five of them to try to score these different combinations over here on the score sheet. So, for example, uh, if I rolled all these, I could set aside these five, and this would make a flush. Uh, so I would go ahead and end up scoring 30 points for this. Now, the unique thing with this game is that there are three different ways you can score. Uh, since the green is a wild suit, I can change this to any suit I want. However, if I use it, it's going to actually deduct from my score. So if I could make a flush with this, um, I would, since I use one green die, it would be 40 points. If I ended up using two green dice, uh, something like this, for example, it would then be worth 30 points. So the green dice can help you get scores. It's just going to be a lower score. So what you'll do is you'll roll the, roll the dice, you'll set aside, let's just say I set aside these three, and then I roll again, and I'll get up to three rolls uh, to do whatever I want to do. And uh, let's just say I do something like that, and I decide, okay, I'll just keep something in here. But essentially, you're going to get three rolls, and you're going to be setting aside five dice uh, in the midst of those three rolls. So here's the different sections that you can score in. You've got the basic section here, and then you have the kismet section. Um, this section is going to be for tens through aces. So let's just say I rolled and I ended up getting two tens here. I rolled again. I uh, got nothing there. Let's say I rolled the third time. I uh, still didn't get anything. Uh, so let's just say I was going to go ahead and score for the tens. Each 10 is going to be worth two points. So in this case, I'll have scored four points. And it's going to work for each of these uh, numbers and suits here. You're just going to take the number of this particular roll that you got and then multiply by that. And that'll be your score. Uh, now, in the bonus section, you have three different bonuses here. If you end up getting between 90 and 105 points, you'll add 40 to the bonus. 106 to 120, you'll add 70. And over 120, you'll add 100. So you have three different bonuses that you'll be able to score with as well. Now, in the Kismet section over here, this is going to be the meat of the game. Um, you're going to basically be rolling and trying to get these different combinations. Uh, two pair is simply going to be a pair of one number or letter and a pair of another number or letter, such as uh, two tens and two aces. Three of a kind is going to be uh, one of any number or letter, uh, be the same one. So it could be three kings, three aces and such. Um, and you would just go ahead and total those up here. And again, if you use green dice, you're going to go ahead and figure out how many green dice you use and then use this scoring thing. A flush is going to be five of the same suit, such as five hearts. Um, you'll go ahead and put your score there. A straight is going to be uh, numbers that are going sequentially up. Uh, for example, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. That would be a straight, and um, you would go ahead and put the score there. A full house is going to be a three of a kind and a pair. Uh, you'll go ahead and put that score there. Four of a kind works the same as a three of a kind. It's four of any number or letter. Be the same one. Uh, the kismet is similar to Yossi. This is a five of a kind, so if you end up getting that, uh, you will score this. Again, keep in mind the green dice. Straight flush basically means you're going to end up getting um, a run, uh, and it's going to be in the same suit. For example, a 9, 10, jack, queen, king of hearts. That would be a straight flush. Uh, the royal flush is going to be one of the hardest ones to get. This is going to be a 10, jack, queen, king, and ace of the same suit. And again, you're going to have the green dice you'll have to contend with. Now, with the royal flush... This is mainly going to be with green dice and jokers. So uh, it's different from the Royal Kismet. The Royal Kismet is going to be all naturals, meaning there's no green dice or jokers. But the Royal Flush is going to have one of those in there. Again, the Royal Kismet is going to be uh, ace high straight flush, meaning 10 jack, queen, king, ace, all in one color. That'll be worth 125 points. The Yarbrough here works the same as chance. Basically, you'll just total five of the dice together. 
this is used in case maybe you weren't able to get a combination and you can't fit something somewhere. So you could just total the five dice and just kind of put that total there as well. Uh, if you end up getting an all green flush, that's going to earn the score shown in the third column. So what you'll do is you're going to go ahead and add up the scores here and then add up the scores here, total them up, and whoever has the most amount of points at the end is going to win. Out of any game that plays like Yahtzee or Kismet, this is by far the best one that I've seen. The reason being, uh, number one, you've got more dice that you can use to try to manipulate, so it makes scoring easier. But you also have some combinations that are a little bit more difficult to make as well. With the wild green suit, that really uh, makes the game interesting because sometimes in Yahtzee, you're trying to get a combination, but you just can't make it. But in this game, you have a chance of being able to make the combination, but you're having to decide, do I want to just kind of take the points that I have with the green dice or do I want to try to go with the naturals? And of course, if you end up not getting what you want, you can try to see if you can score somewhere else. So that's one of the cool things I like about the game. And I really like the way, too, that you can score three different types of bonuses in the upper section. If you've ever played Yahtzee, uh, one of the things is like if somebody ends up rolling a Yahtzee, it can be very, very, very hard to try to uh, catch up. The only way you can really do it is to roll a Yahtzee. But in this game, you actually have another chance if you don't get one of the big Royal Kismets because you can try to see if you can get the triple bonus on the top level. So uh, really good game. I really enjoy this game. I think anybody who likes Yahtzee definitely should check this game out. Uh, I think it's a winner. It's uh, my favorite of the bunch. All right, guys, that's my review of Royal Kismet. We'll catch you later. Keep on gaming.